All right, and we're back. Give me one second, though, because I want to fix this. My volume has been, like, insanely high. Like, that last draft was deafeningly loud. <clears throat> All right, hopefully this one will be better. All right, like, I have the audio turned down here. Yeah, music's at, like, 50%. It was ridiculous. I think I accidentally turned up my volume on the main thing at some point then. Alright, well, we're not going to have anywhere near as fun a deck as we had the last draft, but apparently fun decks aren't allowed to win today, so that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, we had all of the cool stuff, and we were doing fun things, and we won all of two games. Woohoo. Also, my voice is dry and raspy because, you know, pneumonia. Like, Two weeks later, and I am just barely over it. <clears throat> Physically. Mentally, I've been over it since it started. It's just like, I, I would like to not be here now if we could stop. Come on, last opponent. Click ready. Ah, we had such a cool deck. <clears throat> like, seriously, that... that that thing was exactly what I envisioned when I started that draft, and, and... Ah, no, okay. I think that's the second time that's ever happened, where somebody actually finally pushed ready at the last possible second. <sighs> Do we want City on Fire? The answer is probably not. Like, City on Fire is not a good Magic the Gathering card for Limited. Like, that 8 mana even with Convoke. So we probably want, like, Deadly Derision or Timberland Ancient. Yeah, okay. We tried to have fun before. We weren't allowed, so... I'll just take good magic cards then and try and build a normal deck. We will yawn as we get our wins. <sighs> Alright. Seriously, though, not sure what I want here. I do like the Notvold Hermit. Would not mind taking Meeting of the Minds or even Tidal Terror. Maybe it's Tidal Terror. Maybe we try a nice blue-black control deck again. Want Tidal Terror or Meeting, then? I think Tidal Terror. Fixes our mana. Is a win con. Yeah, no, we had five color nonsense before, plus Yorion, and just enough cards to make Yorion playable as our companion. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to lie, that Kami of Lost Hopes hanging out with Renata there, really super tempting me not to do blue-black control, maybe like so, some sort of... Um, Oh god, what? Simic. No. Sultai? Sultai. That's the word I'm looking for. Simic is just blue-green. <sighs> or we can just take another title terror. And that's probably what we're gonna do. As I actually do that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not gonna be over the previous deck anytime soon. I loved that build, and then it did not get to... We beat Shouldred, like... And I punted that game, too, by not flickering one of my invasions with Yorion because I was so focused on killing the Shouldred, I didn't get extra value. <clears throat> yeah, the games we won were fun. The rest of the games, though, where we just barely didn't make it, or where our mana base killed us, you know, because we're a five-color, 60-card limited deck... Alright, I'm taking this one. Like, we could take Timoret, we could take Gift of Completion, Cyber Cryptomancer, and none of them would be terrible. But if we're just gonna keep seeing stuff like this, I'm not gonna just keep passing it. 
We're seeing, like, better green than we have black for our blue-black control deck. Like, better green control cards, where we're gonna kill a bunch of stuff and... You know, actually have mana and do things. Oh, there's me in the mines and port and tracker. <sighs> what do I want to do? I kind of want to take the port and tracker. Like, even if we don't get anywhere near five color silliness again, just having the extra mana is probably good enough. Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. is a lot better in blue black because it's a lot easier to get her into a trade position and kill a creature before she dies in blue black than it is green blue we need like the uh cosmic hunger or something for that end of the day i'd probably just rather have chomping kavu a converter beast also, I wouldn't mind the Icker Drinker if we went in black, but I think the green's more open. Thing <clears throat> is, it's not impossible that we run all three colors. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Gloom Fang. Also, our only blue cards are Tidal Terrors right now. So, technically, our black green, if we actually see some more good black and green. Oh, we have no artifacts yet to cast from the graveyard. And Wingspan's really good on big, dumb, uh, green creatures, so... I suppose... So I sit here eating these little chocolate eggs make me feel better I mean yeah okay is weird right now like doesn't have to be blue at all doesn't have to be black at all barely even needs to be green at all like green has probably our best things that aren't just land cyclers at this point and it's still not anything significant there we go well, we wield the Notvold hermit and the eyes of gataxius I'm gonna take the Hermit. 5-5 five, five, that makes our other little creatures into 5-5 five, five. seems good. Alright, we wield the Invasion of Pyrulia. I'm gonna take that over the Kavu. Take a War Historian over the Dreg Recycler. That over nothing. Hmm, take this over nothing. I can't wait to see the super cool red card we open that isn't... Ah, no. <clears throat> That's a pretty good one. Passing Invasion. That's kind of it for, like, super powerful cards. Like, Dina's okay, but not great. <clears throat> yeah, we're taking the Hoarding Broodlord. 
Okay, but what are we taking? Um, probably a final flourish over Finn, an overgrown pest. Gift of completion. Like all cards I would run, but. Mm, we got a tracker now. Skittering Surveyor. Yeah, I can see taking the tracker. We got a bunch of decent sized creatures to get back. <clears throat> got all of our land cyclers. Yeah, if we can just get a few more good green black cards, we can probably just cut the blue entirely. Where I think I'm headed with this deck right now. Wait, is this the first time I didn't get super married to my first pick? Because I don't think... I think it was one of the blue cards that I first picked. Ooh. Aetherblade Agent and Cosmic Hunger. Um, so the Death Toucher that draws me cards, and a removal spell that goes great with him. Um, yeah, we gotta take the Aether Blade, but that was tempting. Yep, looks okay so far. <coughs> A Yara of Lockthwain. Over Converter Beast? Black creature enters the battlefield, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Sacrifice another black creature, draw a card. I mean, probably still. Like, she's not amazing. <clears throat> but she's playable. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like this when I'm in one of the two colors it wrecks to begin with, and... Lots of okay blue cards in this pack. Dispersal, I would definitely run. Meeting of the Minds would make the deck. Oh my god. Can we wheel the other one? Can I just have two Invasion of Lorewinds here? Because <clears throat> that would be amazing. the assailant or we can take grandmama sing gear that's also a removal spell yeah okay I'm down <clears throat> I'm down to try and have fun with this deck which is probably a mistake Rena doesn't like when I have fun but for that one time where we violently forced fun and fun was going to be had regardless of what arena thought Ugh. <clears throat> yeah, still so much fluid in my chest. Ridiculous. Um, I guess we're taking Dina over a Chomping Kavu and some mediocre combat tricks. <clears throat> she does combo reasonably well with Ayara. Like, Every time we play a black creature, our opponents lose two life and we gain a life. <clears throat> At that point... Well, definitely take that pest. <clears throat> I mean, we might not be able to run Ayara. Triple black's a bit much. I'll take that over nothing. We do have one portent tracker, though, to untop a swamp, so... Get, like, a black-green dual land and some other things going for us, maybe. Keep hitting swamps off these overgrown pests. Uh, 
All right, pack three. Could have had two city on fires. Could have done nine times damage whenever we did a thing. I'm kind of inclined to just take the negotiator. Two mana three threes, kind of good. Over another Gloom Fang, War Historian, Serpent Blade Assailant. Yep. Uh, now we get Cosmic Hunger over nothing. Like, damn near literally nothing. We got one black card and one green card. <clears throat> Alright. We got Traumatic Revelation. There's an awful lot of pests. Um, my third one. There's a part of me that's almost tempted to take this just because of how many... Or even the Alabaster Intercessor at this point. But... Just to see if we could do something with it. But we have no other color fixing, so... We have no other reason to have white. Like, we don't need to fix for it. I say before we get past a unicorn that cares if I gain life or not. Puts counters on things. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of inclined to just take another not bold hermit. Just try and curve in, like... Pest into Hermit into Flip Hermit attack with 5-5 five, five Pest and Hermit. <clears throat> Another Negotiator, Etched Host Champion... Yep, yeah, nope, give me another 2 mana 3-3. Three, three. <coughs> give me another 2 mana 3-3 three, three that's terrible at fighting and pumping Dina and we'll be good. Conviction is meh. Awakening. Yes, we take the card that's in our colors, but. Ooh. Storm the Seed Core. Yeah, I think we'll take that over Blighted Burgeoning. It seems fine here. I kind of want to take Render Inert with the Invasion of Old Grotha and Lorwyn. Do we have any other battles or just those two? Two. Yep. Okay. Um, over another Thornwood. Or Timberland Ancient, rather. Not Thornwood. Yep. Okay. I'll take the Render Inert then. <coughs> Well, I'm taking the War Historian because it gets to attack our thing over the two rares that were still in that pack that I didn't want the first time. I missed that we had a squee. I got distracted by the second city on fire. <clears throat> Could have been dealing nine times damage. Eh, uh, well. All we had to do was believe and draft red green. Just attack with one trampler after casting that. And everything would have been amazing. <sighs> I think I want the one of combat trick over the one of like little incubator guy. Take the uncommon. Take the uncommon. Take the spell. 
Okay. Alright, so this deck is way more straightforward than our last one. And it needs six cuts. Alright, there's nothing else up here. Like the flywheel. Fiction, yeah. Alright, so T colon creature. Let's separate them out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Technically seven and eight, because invasion and... Yeah, the two invasions are removal spells that might turn into creatures eventually. <clears throat> mm. Like, there's, there's every reason I should probably cut Ayara and probably Dina, too. Like, <clears throat> Dina works well with the Storm the Seed core, though. Like, being able to eat one of our other creatures... If it gets like triple blocked and now all of a sudden she's got all the power it had, but that's about it. Mm. Probably don't need the converter beast at this point. Like we're not getting paid off for running it. <sighs> yeah, most of our creatures are actually green, so... Yeah, I think we can cut the Ayara and then the Dina. And if we're cutting those, we don't need Port and Tracker as much anymore. Like, it can remove counters from the invasions, but... I don't think that's where I want to be at. Okay... down one pest. And... Hmm. It's going to be our last card to go. The Arachnid Adaption. Yeah, okay. Um... Yes, to the extra green, even though we have triple black on the Rude Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> that will make the Brood Lord slightly hard to cast, but if I can't get three black uh, mana sources out of eight lands, <clears throat> then I don't know that I was ever going to be able to cast it anyway. drop? No. Uh, okay. It's fine. Okay, right, we'll play a 3-3 three, three for 3 against their 1-1 one, one that might be a 2-2 two, two next turn over playing out our 2-2. Two, two. <clears throat> that has nothing to get back. Okay. Oh, we'll beat for three then. God, do I just want to kill the Kami of Whispered Hopes here. Last time I did that, though, my opponent played Yarok turn, the turn afterwards, and it's just like, oh, well, that's awful. Yep. I am immediately filled with regret. But I did not just kill it. Because now I'm not going to be able to. Well, I'll still be able to kill the Kami, but that doesn't super matter. <clears throat> oh god. Yep. We can stop anytime now, Jesus. Alright, well, taking nine, because I didn't kill the Kami. So, and we have Infinite Forests, one swamp. Alright, well, let's shut the barn door now that all the animals have escaped. Because we can't even kill Shauna with this because it's an ability. So, this is going to hurt an awful lot.
Well, if they play another creature, we can triple block her, and if they have nothing, we get to trade our entire board for her. Uh, yeah, I hate the idea of trading our entire board for her, so... Oops, not you. Uh, it's so close to actually being able to block her also and kill her. What's in my graveyard? Yeah, I think we just need to hit a swamp here. I'll decline. Yep! No, that seems about right. Um... Right? Can't be the target of abilities your opponents control. The next turn I have to chump that? Yeah. Alright, well, we lose. We needed a swamp, specifically a swamp right there. So if we cycle this and we draw another forest, we die. Yep. Not that we would have drawn that far specifically, most likely, but... If they play any creature, they get to make me chump block again. Oh. Why did we not do that last turn and win? I guess because I had mana available, technically. But... Alright, well... Somehow, for running nine forests and eight swamps, I got maximum punished. So that was neat. <sighs> like, seriously, how do we not draw another swamp there at any point in time? And then we milled it when we finally would have gotten it. And even then, I think we milled spell, land, spell, so it still would have taken two turns, so... Uh, oh, cool. So, our only swamp... Actually, I'm gonna mulligan this, because it does nothing for the first few turns of the game. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is way better. We will need a fourth land eventually, though. We may not have that fourth land, but we do need it. Alright. I tell you what, Arena, you are sucking all of the joy out of magic for me right now. I'm gonna take two and we're gonna see if we draw that land or not. Hey, we did actually draw it. Alright, um... <sighs> yeah, okay, we're gonna make our guy a 3-3 flyer. We'll have back two blockers. That way, when they kill one of our blockers, we can still kill their creatures. The other one, hopefully. Or their guy can just have double strike and trigger twice when it connects. Yeah, sure, whatever. Why not? I'm having a wonderful time playing Magic right now. They get two free lands, apparently. Oh, no, they get one free land and they like the spell on top. Hey, um... 
Well, now everything is awful. Um, pass this out, I guess. Damn for three in the air. Oh, good. They get to make their one thing a four-power double striker now if they want to. And they don't even have... Oh, they are going to attack with that? Okay. I'm down, then. Yeah, no, now I get to actually... block their other two guys and, you know, just trade and eat. Yeah, no, this is fine. I accept. What else you got? Yeah, that hurts. Uh, we might actually need to kill that. Before they flip it over. Like we said. Hey, okay. M for three. Pass the turn. What else you got? Please don't actually have anything. I'm running low on interaction here. I said please don't have anything! So we're just dead, right? Because it tramples? Yep. Cool. Okay. Whatever. Alright, I kind of just want my third loss so I can stop playing Magic today, because apparently today was a terrible day to try and do that. <laughs> We're gonna 0-3 with this deck, after going 2-3 and three with what should have been an incredibly fun and entertaining deck, but our opponents just did not want to let us have any fun past, like, the two games. Sure, doesn't matter. I'm off it. I'm completely off it. I'm just going to be a salty little bitch over here now. Because this has just been completely miserable. <clears throat> yep. Here, I'm going to play this so I can trade with their guy so I can get a second swamp. I'm not even entirely joking about that. Uh, actually, we're going to take that because I have four out of five lands and I can cycle the other thing to get it. Okay. trade with their guy, so I don't take too much damage. Heal. Yep. first. Yep. Yep. Big four. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn. Ah, hey, we found the swamp naturally. Cool. Okay, let's kill the 4-4. Four, four. Player's fine. I give up. Are they going to invade Alara? Actually, we'll just take the dragon here. 
We're one mana off of casting it. Sure. Ah, this is fine. I'm gonna have to flourish the 3 3 and then deadly derision the 5 5 here. It feels like where I'm at. stable now. Actually, want Algrotha here to gain some of this life back. Do we have anything else that would help a lot? Uh, we can flip the thing. We can get the Herbology Instructor and gain life and kill a thing. Actually, I like the Herbology Instructor over Algrotha. Okay. kill the Renata here before she gets out of hand. Um, yeah, let's flip this over now. <clears throat> yeah, an 8-8 eight eight seems pretty good here. Five five Vigilance That's fine. I have an eight eight, so whatever. That's good, because I know I'm close to having them dead, but I don't think I quite have it there. <coughs> hey, if I could just stop suffocating, you know, it's been over a week now. Great, so we got to go 1 and X now. 
still not holding out a ton of hope, but we did manage to actually win a game, so that does make me feel a bit better. <clears throat> sure, why not? Mm -hmm. Infinite forest. We have one more forest than a swamp. Can we please stop drawing infinite forests? And can we please stop drawing my double black spells when I have no swamps? <clears throat> Except for the Gloomfang Marauder. <clears throat> so I can actually get a swamp. Thank you. Um, yep, there goes Storm the Seed Core and Render Inert. Uh, and we're not blocking, so... <coughs> Let's get that point of damage in. It's okay, we'll shuffle it all back in when we get our other Swamp. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thing that will let them get past my guy. Yeah, they do. Hey, taking five. Yeah, okay, let's kill their guy. Get in for three real quick. Two back. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's get the invasion. They left something on top, so it's gonna be a big, scary creature, most likely. <coughs> or their fifth land, so they can cast another big, scary creature. <laughs> Alright, that's actually pretty good. I like that. have reach. Um, so with the token that it makes, but it's also not going to... How does this work? Um, minus X where it's its toughness. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and kill the... See, they're gonna take seven. They block him, they take another three, so that's ten down to four. Yeah, no, I think we just hit for the seven. It's not speeding up the clock any. If they can make two Phyrexians this turn, then I might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, are they gonna tandem take down the flyer? Yeah. Alright. Alright, so... In that case... Let's kill that. And... Yeah, we'll hit him with everybody. 
buddy. Yep. Fine. Trade. Let that resolve. Left it on top. Let it not bolt. We can flip that, and then it and the thing that I attack with are both lethal, unless they make a whole bunch of 1-1s. One they didn't make a whole bunch of 1-1s. One Alright. So you still have to block that one. Alright. <clears throat> okay, we got two wins. And we're back up to Platinum 3. Oh, this hand is terrible. Uh, this hand is okay. Put back the Kavu. Still not a great hand by any means. <clears throat> like forever away from casting invasion. And we might just get absolutely annihilated by uh, Rav if they have an equipment here that they can put on him. Like Beat Stick or the Vigilance one. Alright. Once again, we have drawn our double black spell before our second swamp. And three forests. That just kind of keeps on happening. Oh, okay. They didn't want to put it on the other one and attack me for six? No? Okay. I mean, I can't kill that anymore with cosmic hunger, so that's kind of bad. Alright. Yeah, we're going to deride that before they can find an equipment to put on it. Or on one of their other guys. Yep, and now their thing is a 3-2. Yep. out the troll because we can hold up cosmic hunger this way that should stop them from being able to attack this turn I can finally make them pump the brakes a little bit Like, it's not even good. I put two counters on each of them and get to attack for 7... 11? It's okay? <sighs> yeah... Yeah, I don't even think I want to flip him. <clears throat> really would have just rather have drawn a land there. I draw a land, I kill one of the red caps, and then get to attack. 
Oh, it's Quinn. He's a good boy. I would really have liked to have been able to kill him here. Nothing personal, Quinn. You're, you're a wonderful card, but... Wait, have they not put a non-creature card in their graveyard yet? Yeah, no, I would really like to kill Quinn before things start getting into their graveyard. Ah, hello, Taylor. How's it going? Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. <sighs> yeah, now Quinn flies. <sighs> Let's see, three black and one, two, three, four, five. This would leave me dead on board, though. Ah, that's awful. That would actually leave me dead on board. Ah. Alright, we can double block and trade with Quinn now. If they forget about Reach and they don't have anything. And they don't give Quinn two extra power. <sighs> yep. Nope. Everything's wonderful. Yes? No? Okay. So we get to double chump this turn. Oh hey, my six land, right on time. Hooray! We found it. Bye, Quinn. Can't attack, because well, then we'll be dead. We're gonna have to storm the seed core to put counters on the war historian so it can block the red cap with flying. Ah, uh, that's great. Assuming I'm not dead here. Because I'm not blocking this turn, so if they have like any of the cool tricks, I'll just be dead. Okay, last card in their hand was not the burn spell for my face, so that's good. So, 5-5... Five, five. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, so... You kill that. You go face. You can take six to the face with nothing but a smile and a can do attitude. Alright. I would like to cast them, yes. Alright, so we are dead to anything that kills War Historian or deals me three damage. That is not either of those things yet. Hey. Well, let's attack for half their life total. See if they just want to take that to the face right now. Uh, 
another 3-3. Three, three. Pass the turn back. Land's probably good for us from them. Ah, well, they think it's over. Alright, so... If we send the team... One of them has to get Chump there. We can make him a 7-7, and therefore make that a 7-7, so they'd have to Chump three times. Yeah, okay. So that, that, that all attack. Oh, that's not a 7-7, seven, seven. that's a 6-6. Six, six. Why did I think that was going to be a 7-7? Seven, seven? Ah, well it doesn't matter, they killed my guy so now I'm actually dead. Ah, I miscounted, I thought that was going to be a 7-7 seven, seven for some reason. Only this one would have been the 7-7, seven, seven. this one only had the one counter on him. Well... Yep, and that's all they have to do now. And because I took two damage, I'm now at lethal on board. And they had another one of those guys, so their thing would have been a 5 5 flyer anyway. Well, I'm sure I punted this game, but still. I don't know that I was actually going to be able to win there without being able to cast the dragon without tapping a creature. Was the issue. Eh, yeah, well. I got my wish. I can stop playing Magic now. Ah, uh, yeah. These games have not been fun. Yeah, let's go open our packs. List. Things are going Ojutai. That's not my first Zergo and Ojutai, is it? I could have sworn I had them in a draft before. Maybe I had them in a paper draft, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. And another Glissa. Alright, well that's going to do it for this draft, and yeah, I think I'm done playing Magic for today. Uh, might be back on in a little while with some Final Fantasy VII Remake, but that's going to do it for the Magic. Um, thank you to uh, Taylor for stopping by, and I will see you all next time. Have a good rest of your day.